boys and girls, how have you been? Praise God. Now, it is another good Sunday that the Lord has given to us that we may be in his presence. It is time for Sunday school and I want to welcome you for a Sunday school service. Are you ready? Okay, stop whatever you are doing. Stop watching cartoons, stop playing, stop reading your storybooks and join me to Chamolin in our Sunday school service. And as usual, before we start, what do we do? Good, we pray. Now, what do we normally do when we want to pray? When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I bow my head, I close my eyes, and then I talk to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you this morning, dear King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for gathering us here as your children, O oh Lord, to listen from you, to learn from you, O oh Jehovah Father. We pray, King of all glory, that you are going to talk uh, unto us this morning, O oh King of all glory. This is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. And all the children say, Amen, Amen. Now, we are going to sing and dance to God. Sing and dance. Are you ready? Good. enjoyed them myself. Now, this morning we are going to talk about our children of integrity. That is our topic of today. We are still continuing uh, with that topic. And before I introduce our Bible lesson this morning, I want to tell you a little story. Story time, story time. Are you ready? Are you ready to listen to my story? Good. Now, I have a friend of mine, a little girl. 
by the name Jerry. Say Jerry. Now Jerry is in grade one. Grade? Grade one, correct. She's in grade one. Now this friend of mine always gives his seeds to older people. For example, when an older person visits her house, she will offer her seed to that older person. That is good, isn't it? That is so kind of Jerry, isn't it? Now, what virtue do you think Jerry possesses? Can you guess? She's kind? Yeah, that's correct. She's obedient? She's obedient? What else can you think of? Yes, she is respectful. Jerry is respectful. And re being respectful is our lesson today. Okay? We are going to learn how you and me can be respectful to those who are older than us. Okay? And I want us to go to our Bible and read uh, our verse of today. My Bible, my Bible and I. My Bible, my Bible and I. Oh, what a wonderful Bible that God gave without measure. We are traveling together. My Bible and I. Do you have your Bible with you? I have mine here. Can you show me yours? Can you show me yours? Correct, that is good of you. You have your Bible and we are going to go to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings is found in which uh, testament? Good, it is found in the Old Testament book. 2 Kings chapter 2, chapter number 2. Chapter number 2, we are starting to read from verse 23. Verse 23 to verse 25. Are you there? Wave to me if you are there. Boys and girls, wave to me if you are there. Thank you. Now, I'm reading. Listen keenly as you follow through your Bible as well. From there, Elisha went up to Bethel. As he was walking along the road, some boys came out of the town and jeered at him. Get out of here, Baldi, they said. Get out of here, Baldi. He turned round, looked at them and called down a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42, boys of, 42 of the boys. And he went on to Mount Carmel and from there returned to Samaria. Now, that is our Bible lesson. There were how many boys? 42 boys. How many boys again? 42 boys. Now, these 42 boys, when they uh, saw Elisha, they jeered at him. Do you know what it means to jeer at someone? It means uh, to make fun of uh, someone. When you make fun of someone, you are mocking them, you are laughing at them. That means you are jeering at them, okay? And that's what the 42 boys did. I want to pose a question to you. Were these 42 boys respectful? Were they? No, they were not respectful because they mocked at Elisha. They laughed at him. Why? Because Elisha was a bald person, okay? Do you know who a bald person looks like? I hope you know. Now, I'm not going to tell you that. Ask your mommy and daddy uh, who is a bald person, okay? You will ask that, isn't it? Okay. Now, these 42 boys, uh, they saw Elisha and jeered at him. And Elisha turned and um, cursed them. What happened to them thereafter? Who can tell me what happened to them? The Bible says that uh, then two bears came out of the woods and uh, mauled 42 of the boys. The 42 boys who made fun of Elisha because um, they were not respectful, they 
were cursed. So that is our lesson this morning. That if you are not respectful for, to those who are older than you, there's a curse that will uh, be upon you. Okay? So we are learning this morning, boys and girls, that we are supposed to be respectful. If you see, for example, if you are father's friends visit at home, what are you supposed to do? Laugh at him? No. You are supposed to welcome this person to your house and then offer a seat just like my friend Jerry did. He offered, she offered her seats to those who are older than, older than her. Okay? Now, we are going to look at some of the things that young boys and girls do that show that they are not respectful. Some of the things that young boys and girls do that show that they are not being respectful. Number one, these boys, they always want to listen to, um, to every adult conversation. Those boys and girls who are not respectful, if they see, uh, if your father's friends visit at home, what do you do? You sit, unaka karibu na daddy, and then unaskiza kenye wanaongea, sindio? That's what you do, isn't it? Now, if you do that, it means you are not being respectful. You are supposed to greet the visitor and then leave them to talk because it is adult conversation. Another thing that boys and girls do that shows that they are not respectful is that they don't use kind words they don't use kind words they are being rude to those who are older than them they use abusive words hmm? una tusi mwenye ako mwenye ni mkubwa wako unaona mtu alafu unamwambia <clears throat> ona kichwa yako kichwa kubwa kama malenge unamwambia hivyo si ndio that's so wrong and that means you are not respectful. Another thing that shows that you are not respectful is when you make fun of others. When you make fun of others, you, uh, you jeer at them, you laugh at them, that shows you are not respectful. For example, just the verse that we've read about the 42 boys, they laughed at Elisha. They made fun of Elisha because he was bad. So when you do that as well, that will show that you are not respectful and that is sin. Another thing that boys and girls do that show they are not respectful is that they don't give priorities to the older people. You remember my story when I was starting? We talked about Njeri, who is always kind, who is always respectful, and gives his her seat, sorry, to those who are older, to the elders. So she gives priority first to the elders. That is what you are supposed to do as well. When, for example, you are seated somewhere and then an older person comes, you are supposed to stand up from your seat and then offer that seat to that older person, okay? Now, you're supposed to be respectful to your teachers, to your parents, to your brothers and sisters who are older than you, to your neighbors, and to that stranger that you don't know. That one person, that young grandmother, that show, show that you always meet on your way to school. You are supposed to show respect to her. That guka that you always meet every morning when you go to school, you are supposed to do what? Show respect to her. Now, what did we learn this morning? We learned that we are supposed to be respectful. Are you going to be respectful from today? By show of hand. Good, good. I'm also going to be respectful to those who are older than me. Not only my parents, but also my teachers and any other person who is older than me. Let us learn our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. Are you ready? 
Good. Our memory verse is taken from the book of First Peter. First Peter. First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. We are going to learn verse 17a. Now, First Peter is found in the New Testament Bible. It is found immediately after the book of James. Okay, are you there? Go with me to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17a. Let us read. Show proper respect to everyone. Show proper respect to everyone. Can you repeat after me? Show proper respect to everyone. Again, show proper respect to everyone. Let us pray. Father, thank you that I've learned and you've taught me to always show proper respect to everyone, be it my parents, be it my teachers, be it my brothers and sisters, and anyone who is older than me. Help me, Lord, that I may practice uh, being respectful. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. And all the children say, Amen, Amen. Bye! Until next Sunday, bye!